The perfectly cooked pavlova really is a triumph of texture. Spongy in the middle, crispy on the outside. This is the challenge, my friends. Let's go through it together. I mean, the great thing about pavlova is like it's really light, so you can literally just like really eat a lot of it. <laughs> this is my version of a classic Australian pavlova. So when you're half Thai, half Australian, you're eating a lot of like Thai mango sticky rice when you're growing up, but you're also eating a lot of pavlova. <laughs> this is one of my family's all time favorite desserts and I'm sharing my recipe with you guys. All right, so the thing with the pavlova is you gotta have that like spongy, you know, sticky marshmallowy interior and then you've gotta have that really crispy kind of meringue on the outside. It's, it's, a, it's a technique, it's, a, it's a, a challenge, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you my like foolproof method. Okay, let's start with the egg whites. Um, now, make sure you don't get any yolk in this mix because you, then you won't get a really good egg white uh, kind of fluff. So just be careful with getting the yolk out. Now I like to just tip it straight into my hands because there are no sharp edges in your hands, unlike the shell. So you can just kind of move it between the two. Just gently get that egg white off. Now the size of your eggs are important here and in the recipe that I've got on my website for you guys, I've actually given the measurement of the egg whites in grams um, so that you can measure out exactly the right amount of egg white. You don't have to rely on, you know, big eggs, small eggs, um, you know, they can all be different. Okay, so this is where we get to like the secret tips kind of part. Um, everyone has a different way of making a pavlova. This is mine. Um, I like to get in here straight away with some really high speed beating first of all, before I add anything else. So when you've got this kind of soft peak situation going on with your egg whites, that's been just a couple of minutes of high speed beating, then you wanna start adding in your sugar. So turn the speed back up to high and then just gradually add in that sugar spoon by spoon until we get a nice kind of shiny meringue. Okay, so at this point, the meringue should be looking really shiny, very, very firm. Have a look at this texture. And the point here is that you shouldn't be able to see any sugar crystals anywhere at all. If you've still got sugar that's undissolved at this point, when you get it into the oven, that sugar is going to melt and get all kind of like liquidy and weepy. That's when your meringue starts crying. Well, I could have kind of call it crying, but you, know, you get like this liquid, which is not what you want. So make sure you can't see any sugar crystals here. And now what we want to do is it's kind of like firm up this meringue even more and stabilize it. And also um, kind of the next few ingredients will give us that sponginess on the inside and the crispy texture on the outside. So, and some corn flour. Some vinegar. Okay, so check out that texture. That is like, you know, it should not come, like, you know, you should be able to do that and nothing will come out. It's also a good time to taste. Mm, yum. Now, before I get the meringue out, I just wanna make a little uh, sort of circular guide on my baking paper here. I like to go with about a 20 centimeter diameter for this amount of mixture. So let's put a plate down, trace around there. So now we can scoop out that meringue onto our tray. Mm. So much licking when you're making dessert. <laughs> You want to spread this out. It might seem like it's sort of really tall and um, and not very wide, but you will get a little bit of spread as it bakes in the oven. So that's why I like to go a bit taller and a bit smaller than you might think to start with. And then just kind of shape that around the sides. Kind of create a few little sort of swirls, overhang kind of pieces. I like to kind of make the sides a little bit higher than the center, just so we've got a really nice shape and a nice kind of sort of indent for our topping at the end. Okay, now here's the thing with the pavlova, it's definitely not your like quick 
10 minute kind of dessert. <laughs> this now needs to go in a really low temperature oven. All the times and temps and measurements on my website, guys. Um, but this has to go in a low temperature oven for an hour and a half and then you just switch the oven off. Don't take the pavlova out, switch it off and let it sit in there for two hours. <laughs> um, so all of that ring roll is purely to ensure that we get the right amount of like crispy crack on the outside and that beautiful sponge in the middle. That's what it's all about, my friends. Patience. <laughs> Okay, so to add a little bit of like extra sparkle to our pavlova, I'm gonna do not just a whipped cream, but a coconut whipped cream. Yes. <laughs> I love that coconut mango flavor. As I said, it's kind of like that, I guess, kind of like, you know, Thai mango sticky rice, kind of gives me those kind of vibes. Um, anyway, so with the coconut cream, I've had this guy sitting in the fridge overnight. So the fats in the coconut cream uh, come up to the top and sort of solidify. So I wanna take that solid or you know sort of more thicker creaminess off the top and I'm also going to add some regular thickened cream so thickened cream kind of is called a lot of different things in the world so you guys have told me um, I believe in the US this should be um, double cream in Australia we call it thickened cream or pouring cream uh, look any kind of cream that you use for whipping that's the one that you want <laughs> and now some icing sugar. Now this just needs to get whipped. Oh wait, or maybe it's double cream. No, I said double cream. Maybe it's heavy cream. I think it's heavy cream. Someone needs to tell me in the comments, please. Thickened cream in the US is, there you go, insert. <laughs> I don't want to get these things wrong. Um, anyway, when your cream is looking really lovely and fluffy, just like this, I better just check it out, you know. Mm, I just love that really subtle coconutty flavor you get with that cream. Ah, oh, so lush. All right, let's get decorating. is such a thing of beauty. Now this should be completely cool. If not, let it cool down even further on your bench top before you put your cream and your decoration on. Now I have quite the collection of delicious things to put on top of my pavel over here. I've got um, little chocolates, um, some toasty coconut flakes, um, some mango. You could totally go your own adventure here, guys. I'm going with like the chocolate coconut mango kind of vibe. So first of all though, I want some cream on here. And then I wanna kind of just drape those lovely slivers of mango all over the top. And now chocolate. Coconut. And there you go, friends. Um, that is one magical looking pavlova in my book. Oh, I can't wait to get in there and have a look. This will be the moment of truth though. Do we have that soft, spongy marshmallow in the center and that crispiness on the outside? Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that marshmallow stuff going on. Oh my goodness. <sighs> So exciting. Okay, I'm very, very proud of myself for this one, guys. This looks amazing. Oh, I just love that, oh, that pillowy, soft center and that cream. And you know what I love about this? So I've purposely kept the pavlova itself very classic in terms of flavor so that you can play with the flavors on the top. So I'm just gonna try out the pavlova part and we'll see. It should just melt. It should let's just like puff away. Um, and you're left with just a beautiful little bit of coconut mm, and that beautiful cream flavor. Ah, oh, textures, everything just perfect. Oh, this is really good. 
Jangan lama. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, why not hit the like button? And even better, I would love so much if you would subscribe and even hit that little bell button so you get notified every time I release a new delicious video. Thanks guys.